Hi everyone, this is Karen Wilding, early years and primary maths consultant. There's blue in the distance, we're down by the river, which is very flooded, but we've got a break in the weather, it's due to snow, so I thought I'd pop out and make a new video. I've just started building here with some sticks, a bit soggy, but uh, I thought we'd talk about triangles today. So I'm just gonna try and hold the camera and arrange some of these sticks. What's so lovely, many lovely things about using natural materials, is Mother Nature instantly starts to be far more mathematical than the things that we tend to buy or use that are pre-produced in the classroom. So look at that triangle there. It hasn't got what we might call a base, uh, which is often in a picture or a textbook or an image online is got the, the bottom of the triangle parallel with the, with the page. That leads children to believe that triangles have a certain way up and, and a triangle is not defined by its orientation. So have a look at that triangle there. I'm gonna turn around. Is it still a triangle? Is it still a triangle? And what's your reasoning for that? Um, I'll do some changing. There's my sh shadow, just proving the sun is shining, even if it might not be for very long. So uh, let's change something on here. I'll try and hold the camera at the same time. If I do this, I wonder, now this is such a really important skill in maths, is talking about what has changed and what has stayed the same, if anything. We tend to, in real life, talk about what's the same and what's different. But in mathematics, if you want children to pay attention to the things that matter, talk about what's changed first, because that's what they're going to notice, that's being human. And then talk about if anything stayed the same, because that's the mathematics. So here, we might have to undo what we did. So if I move that one, uh, get back the one, oops, the one I had, which I can, now can't find. Uh, let's get a different one. Say if I put this one instead, I may have just snapped, I think, the original one I had. So if I do something like, I will just move the camera so you can see, like this. I know that top stick is a little bit bendy. So we, you know, we want to draw attention to the fact that they need to be as straight as possible. But if I now swap that one, so it's quite a long stick for a shorter stick. Can you see that that one now doesn't make that side there? So I'm going to move that here and make my vertex here mathematically where those straight lines meet. We don't necessarily need to talk like that to our children. It wouldn't do any harm, but we need to understand. So what's changed, what stayed the same? Um, it's a lovely big log here. I might leave that one where it is, but I wonder if I pick up something like this lovely lime green stick here. You can still see you've got a lovely vertex there. And then if I go over here, maybe get this one. I hope, oh no, that one's falling apart. Let's see. See if I can make it work with this one here. So I'm just going to move my original triangle out of the way, put that one there. I'll just lift up so you can see. So we've got sides there and I'm going to move this one so it meets that one. So again, we can discuss the fact that this needs to be as straight as possible. I'm going to just change maybe or no, it's not going to behave very well, but we know mathematically this isn't strictly a triangle because of that bend, but we've got our three straight-ish sides. What's changed from this triangle compared to the last triangle? Well, look at the size. Look at the, the, the thickness of those logs in, on two of the sides and how narrow. Well, Blue's come to have a look. It's just going to, there you go, Blue, what do you think? So <laughs> you can tell this is very highly polished, this uh, presentation. I'll just move around so Blue's not in the way. But look at that again, you know, changed the orientation. Is it still a triangle? What's changed? What stayed the same? So letting the logs, letting the twigs dictate things, but what do we have to do to them to create a triangle? So go and explore. Bye from me and Blue and uh, we'll make the most of the, the nice weather because it is due to get bad again.